Hey! Ooh, ooh, God. It's Monica. Welcome back to my channel. I just woke up and I'm about to get ready for the day and I thought I would just film my getting ready and answer questions from Twitter while I do that. I like to try and do these like once a month because it's just good to check in with you guys. All products that I use will be linked below. First, I'm starting with the Burt's Bees Sensitive Daily Moisturizing Cream. My skin is the opposite of sensitive. I feel like it could go through World War III and be all right. I never break out, probably jinxing myself. The first question is, what is your favorite song to work out to at the moment? I've been working out a lot, if you guys have seen on my vlog channel, and the only thing that gets me through it is listening to good music. My number one favorite song that like, gets me up those steps is Powerful by Major Lazer. It's a really cool song, and I did an edit to it on my vlog channel right here. Oh, Lord of mercy, I'm begging you, please. I'm feeling drained, I need love. You charge me up like electricity. Don't stop my heart with your love. There's an energy when you hold me, when you touch me. It's so powerful, I can feel it When you hold me, when you touch me It's so powerful, there's an energy When you hold me, when you touch me It's so powerful Awesome song. You guys can follow me on Spotify if you just search my name, Monica Church. I have some playlists and things. I have like an oldies playlist of like oldies music that I like. I have this one called Chiller Chill Chill, which is just really chill music. Oh, I have one of vlog channel songs, like songs I've used in vlogs. Foundation. I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in Fair. It's not enough to cover this face. God. Seriously, dropping that one on me? What are my goals after YouTube? I don't know. This question is like asking a senior in college what they're gonna do after college when they haven't even gotten a job. Like, dude, I don't know. And it freaks me out when you ask that. It's not like it's not on my mind all the time. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Long-term goals. I feel like it's just so crazy. Everything's changing technology so quickly that you can't think that far because things are just changing so much. I think I would be like more of a producer, like a video producer, but the more I make videos, the more I start to hate it because it's like I'm doing it all the time and I'm just so sick of it. But I think that everyone gets like that for every job. I think I do love it. I just take it for granted. So I think I would just want to be more of a video producer. So thinking of ideas, making them come to life, not being in the videos. Foundation pretty much done. This is gonna be a really easy, simple makeup tutorial because I only have like half of my products because Shelby's in Cancun, yeah. And when you're a twin, you share a lot of things and we like share half of our makeup and she took half of it with her on her trip and so I'm out half of my things, so. Next question is, when you eat a taco, do you tilt your head to the taco or do you tilt the taco to your head? Well, let's see, shall we? Tilt my head, I tilt my head. You can't tilt the taco, it's gonna fall apart. What kind of question? But, I bought a taco for it. Next, I'm adding highlighter. This is the Pure Cosmetics in Afterglow. Someone asked, do you and Shelby have a really good connection? And, we're twins, we do have a really good connection. Actually, we're thinking about starting a twin channel again. Comment below if you want. That. I mean some of the videos would be like twin like about twin stuff But for the most part, I think it would just be videos with both of us in it because when we're together It's like better doing my eyebrows now. Yes, me and Shelby have a really good connection I mean we're we've known each other longer than anyone else could know us I know when Shelby's mad or sad or happy the thing is like being a twin you don't sign up to be a twin you're born as a twin and you can do what you want with it you know what I mean like some people are twins and have completely different friend groups different things like that me and Shelby are twins that have the same friends we do the same thing we live together we're like married to each other in this weird way I've learned so much about relationships with people just from being a twin. I can't even explain it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know. My arrows are too much though. That's what I do now. Next question, are you excited about baseball season? Do I 
freaking look excited about baseball season. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited. Oh, I am excited about baseball season. I'm just a little bit excited. It's just the best time of the year. It's only literally summer and amazing and so much fun with your friends to watch a baseball game and root for your team, go Seattle Mariners. Oh, I love baseball, I love it. All right, I don't have an eyeshadow brush, so I'm not gonna put like eyeshadow on really. I'm just putting a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna put some lip liner on here. The next question is, do you have any funny twin stories? More twin stuff. Yes, I actually do have a pretty funny one. This never used to happen, but suddenly recently, like several times, someone will have met my twin, Shelby, and then I'll be in a situation where I'm somewhere and I see the person that she met and they come up to me and they're like, hey, how are you doing? And I didn't meet them and I know that Shelby met them and I know they think I'm Shelby. And I want to meet that. I, I could just pretend to be Shelby and go with it so it's not awkward, but I'm like also like, wait, but I'm me and like I do want to meet them. So I have to break it to them like, hey, I've never met you. I don't know what you're talking about. The poor, poor victim of this story is Andrew Lau, if you guys know him. He met my sister Shelby a week prior to me meeting him. I remember this because Shelby went to something and I was too lazy to go to, and when she came home I was like, oh, how was it? Like, what happened? And she mentioned, oh, I met Andrew Lau. So I was like, oh, that's cool, I've never met him. So a week later, I'm at this event. It's like this concert thing with a bunch of other like YouTube people. I'm with my manager at the time, his name is Jordan. So Jordan's like introducing me to people that I might not know and he goes do you know Andrew like this is Andrew and Andrew goes yeah we know each other like we met and I'm like oh actually no we didn't meet you met my sister and it was funny and then he kind of felt bad he was like oh my god I'm so sorry but like I was not offended at all yeah so that's a funny twin story like literally people mixing us up when they haven't met us yet kind of thing all right, now I'm gonna do my hair, but my outlets aren't long enough to do it right here, so we're just gonna switch up the setting really quick. Okay, welcome to this way less cool part of my room. How many projects are you working on right now that you can't tell us about? If you didn't know, this channel is not all that I do. It really is not. In fact, I would say this channel, this hair dynamic channel, probably only takes up about 10% of my work week effort. I only put in like 10% into this channel because I'm putting it into other things that you might not know about, I guess. I mean, okay, so I have this channel, I have my vlog channel, I have the gymnastics channel. Right now, besides those three main things, I have two others that I'm actively working on, like two projects that I'm not gonna tell you about yet, and then one that I wanna get started on in like June. I work on all of these things also with my sister Shelby. Ah, what I can tell you, so one of them is actually producing a channel for someone and it's like I'm making their videos, but it's not like ready to go live yet or anything. I've been in the process of that for like a month or two. And then the other, I really can't say much because it's more Shelby's thing than mine and she doesn't want me to say anything. It isn't video stuff. It's actually a different medium, which is really exciting and cool. That's all I can say. Lots of projects. Next question is from Finn Music and they ask, who is my favorite band? My favorite band is the Rolling Stones. I love the Rolling Stones so much. Like, I have this one Rolling Stones shirt that I wear sometimes and old men always get mad at me and they're like, you don't know the Stones, you weren't around for that. And they're like, literally like, name 10 songs kind of person and I literally could name 10 songs for you right now if you want. Next someone asks, what is your Starbucks order? I used to always get non-fat lattes, but recently I have switched. I like soy lattes now. This is my go-to order, a grande soy latte and a blueberry oatmeal. Besides Seattle and LA, where else would you want to move to? Nowhere. Only Seattle or LA is like where I'd want to live. I'd love to visit many places and maybe live somewhere for a month or two. I want to live in LA right now and like also kind of live in Seattle. Like I just love those places. Seattle, big thing for me is like, it's where I grew up. I have so many memories there and I have so many good friends there that I grew up with and like literal family. And I don't want to be far away from my family. I like my family and being with my family. Seattle is more of the long term where I would reside. I love this question. How is the best way to get your content out there without seeming desperate for views? 
I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's such a good question. It's impossible. Everyone is desperate for views. YouTube just kind of like makes it hard. I, I have no clue. Next question is, if you could be in one movie, which would it be? Oh god, that's a hard question. Okay, I think I honestly would be in... <laughs> If I could be in any movie, I think a lot of people are going to agree with me on this one, but I know someone who wouldn't. I would want to be in Harry Potter, are you kidding me? To be in that, for real? Wait, never mind, it's not like being in that world, it's just like, stuff, like also starring in it. Okay, just kidding, I take it back. I'd want to be in the movie Stick It, like I would love to play like a gymnast. Hello, perfect, that would be so cool. I loved that movie growing up. Alright guys, that is it, I am all ready for the day, really simple look here. I mainly just wanted to talk to you guys. One last thing to do is to change into something other than just like a sweatshirt. So I'll do that really quick. Ta-da! All right, that's it. I'm wearing this shirt. It's from Brady Melville and this necklace, I have no idea where it's from. It showed up in my apartment and I adopted it as my own and I love it like my firstborn child that I'm never going to have because I don't really want kids. Anyways, thank you for watching this. I'm sorry to my future child if you ever see this and saw that I said that. You can follow me on Twitter at HairDynamic to be involved in the next time this little Twitter Q&A get ready thing happens. You can follow me on Instagram at Monica Church and be sure to check out my vlogs. I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye!